Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're outside Hoggies, Hoggies Restaurant and Catering, Hoggies Barbecue here in Columbus, Ohio. That's right, guys. My first time doing a challenge in Columbus, Ohio, and actually my first like time trip being in Columbus, Ohio. So today we're doing an absolutely massive barbecue challenge. Yes, that's right. And this is Columbus, Columbus style barbecue, which is a thing. This is actually the original barbecue joint, one of the most like well-known, etc. here in Columbus. So the challenge itself is very similar to the like one of the family packs they offer. Um, so what it is, it's about like a pound and a half of two meats, so three pounds of meats, plus a full rack of ribs. Uh, I'm sure you can choose like your meat options. You know, they have the brisket, the pulled pork, etc. Then you also have um, three pounds of sides, so like three large, massive sides. And also if one were to complete it, if we complete the challenge, we do get it for free. And if not, it is about $80, something along those lines. So we are talking like pounds of meat, pounds of sides, but I do love meat. I've heard this is some excellent barbecue. I'm sure it will be fantastic, uh, specifically beef. I love beef. So anyway, let's head on in. Let's have some fun, let's eat some food. And uh, yeah, let's have literally Columbus's best barbecue and a big, big, big barbecue challenge. So let's go and really just wish me luck. Howdy everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Looks absolutely delicious. So lots and lots of barbecue and Columbus barbecue. So super excited, we have some delicious brisket. Of course, we want the fatty portion. I love the fatty portion. And then I have a big heaping pile of pulled pork. Um, this is like almost two pounds of meat. This is about a pound and a half here. We have the full, full, full rack of ribs as well. All the sauces house made. We have then a pound of coleslaw, a pound of beans, a pound of their broccoli salad. I love all of these. These are my favorite sides. Not to mention their house pickles. I have their house made bacon jam. We got like everything here. Um, this is called cowboy candy, which is like pickled jalapenos. And just like, it's fantastic. So I'm super excited. Um, of course, like the sauces, and these are just kind of like tasters, they're just like additions. That's kind of a big thing that differentiates this place from other places, being like, you know, if you order like a pulled pork sandwich, you can get like pickles on it, and, and you know, the cowboy candy and all that, you know, pickled onions, everything which they're doing here. So, it looks delicious, I'm excited. So ultimately, let's tune on in, let's get started, and let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so let's get started. I'm super, super pumped again. Everything looks absolutely delicious. So, uh, how about we get started? I don't know, we got George for our official timer. Mr. George, you ready? Yep. All right, I'm, I'm pumped. I don't know where to start, but I'm just gonna get going. So how about we start at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Yeah. Woo! Cold is very good. Cold pork. Mm. Oh man. That is fatty, that is delicious. <clears throat> oh yeah. That is so rich, that is delicious. Mm. Phenomenal. I'll try some of these ribs as well. They are baby backs. I'll try some of this sauce as well. Ooh. That's your house sauce. Ribs are just fall off the bone. Amazing. You can get some talking stuff too if you want. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Hoggies, yes, Hoggies in Columbus, Ohio. So, a uh, quick passing through Columbus, Ohio, and I wanted to do a food challenge. Little did I know that I would be in for such a treat. Hoggies here has amazing barbecue. Yes, very, very good barbecue. I didn't expect Columbus, Ohio really to have such good barbecue, but this place was legit. Yeah, these ribs are freaking 
fantastic. And that pulled pork fire, I still haven't tried the brisket. But I'm pumped. You guys should try some. So a lot of the meats were kind of done in what I would kind of call like a Texas-ish style, Texas-ish, Southern-ish style. Um, why I say Texas-ish is like they weren't lathering things in sauces. It was definitely, you know, a basic kind of salt, pepper, maybe a few other spices in there, kind of adding that Southern taste. Um, but everything that I tried, uh, the flavors were there. There's a nice little bit of smoke, um, a nice bit of seasoning, um, and everything was moist and juicy and just fall apart tender, just like good barbecue should be. And those are what I look for in barbecue. I look for flavor and texture. Yeah, that sauce is very delicious. I think all these ones, I've been eating the original one. This one's more like a Carolina mushroom. Ooh. Very, very good. Just the slight. And then I forget what this sauce is called, but. Oh, wow. Wow, got some like winter spices in there. Oh, you know what? This is the Jamaican the crazy one. This is the Jamaican style sauce. Mm. Damn, that'd be delicious, actually. Straight fire. I'll try some of this brisket, which is cooked perfectly. Just look at this. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh man. Boy, oh boy. That is just too good. I love beef. I love, love, love beef and that brisket is now. So this challenge itself is very similar to kind of like this big family pack or party pack which they have on the menu. Um, like it was the same like number of sides and then the same amount of meats, just you had the full rack of ribs added in there as well. Uh, what I really also liked about this place is how much of this stuff they were actually um, just making. Like it was super impressive that they made their own pickles. It was super impressive. You know, they're making not, not only their own coleslaw, but they're pickling everything. Like they have like multiple kinds of pickles, pickled jalapenos, um, pickled onions, all that was done there. And the fact that they grew them on site, yes. So they literally grew the cucumbers, they grew the ghost peppers, they grew everything and really like made everything they could. Like they made their own pickles, which for a restaurant of this size to be doing that is absolutely impressive in my books. Um, the pulled pork, um, and even the ribs themselves, but what they definitely did here is they like uh, re-added a lot of the juices. So like a lot of juices are naturally lost during cooking and uh, before serving they re-added some of those juices back into like the pulled pork for example and on the brisket and that really also helped make a difference. Like oh man just sweet, savory, smoky, 10 out of 10. Um, like I said a very pleasant barbecue um, experience. With the pulled pork they literally like add off the drippings like back onto it and it is just like you talk, it's just an explosion of flavor, explosion of salt. Mm. It goes perfectly with that sauce too, that's just delicious. So we did have one hour to complete this challenge, um, but it was definitely sizable. I mean, we had probably what was like five pounds of meat, um, plus the all the sides, which were a uh, pound plus each. So overall, we're looking at like eight pounds of uh, food. Definitely a large, large, large challenge, putting that at like an expert level, um, regardless of the time limit. But if you have the capacity, I do think that the time limit was enough. Um, with the uh, sides, of course, or not the sides, the little dressings like the pickles um, and the barbecue sauces, they weren't required. I just got those. Those are the items which they offer. You know, again, if you want to buy like a sandwich or a plate, um, and I just wanted to try them. Um, we had everything from like bacon jam to, again, the cowboy candy, all the pickles, everything. Um, they also made the sauces as well. Again, I'm super impressed with the fact that they made all the uh, additions, like the toppings, the sauces, and uh, let's just say, you know, I knew things were going to continue being delicious and only getting better for here as I got into my favorite brisket. About seven and a half minutes in. 
Try some pickles, try some cowboy candy. Ooh. Oh wow. Sweet jalapenos. Bit of a kick, but kind of like a bread and butter jalapeno. Here's a bread and butter pickle. Oh yeah. And those onions, like you said, pickle never in here. Oh my god. Too good. Humbly, I say I have eaten like a lot of brisket and uh, some of the world's sought after, most sought after brisket, um, specifically that being in a Texas style coming directly from Texas. And I can honestly say again, this was very, very good brisket. That fat though is perfectly rendered. It's absolutely crazy. In fact, the Hoggy's is a restaurant I would definitely come back to, even in my leisure, and I would just come get some of this fatty brisket here. It was succulent, it was soft, um, it was cooked nicely, and uh, like I said, the flavors were there. That like rendered fat, those succulent juices, all that salt, that pepper, it was just absolutely mouth-watering. That fat. It's too bad. But of that, that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Uh, definitely covered mostly everything about the challenge. Um, I'll leave you some more commentary. Hopefully we can get through the rest of the food here. Um, but I, with that, I will let you get to the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy. Uh, let me know what your favorite barbecue meat is down below. Mine, undoubtedly, is brisket. I just love beef. Animals are delicious, and brisket is definitely my favorite barbecue item. So let me know your favorite barbecue item down below, your favorite type of meat, and at that, Let's ultimately tune on in and let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. It's just like melting your mouth. Look at my hands, look how shiny they are. It's not calorie free, but damn it's good. Probably about 10 and a half minutes in. Got the uh, meat's pretty much gone. Then just on the sides, not to be underestimated. These are big, heavy portions, that is for sure. And I got a burp. It'll come. Oh my god. So fatty. So delicious. <laughs> Dude, you gotta try that after. Let's try to get some of these down. Start with the, with the coleslaw. Nice creamy coleslaw. I do get to choose my sides. I chose these three because they're some of my favorites. Wow, that is, that is, I don't know how, this is, that is not a pound. That's heavy, that is dense. And then the, uh, or the uh, broccoli salad. I like broccoli salad, so. Something my mom would make growing up, but oh my gosh, this is a brick. Beans are good though. <sighs> Excuse me. Woo. That's that burp I needed. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, these are really good too. Bacon. -y. George used to weigh like, what, last year, 260? Yeah, that's 260. <laughs> yeah. You're down like, what, 80 pounds? Yeah.
All right, almost two other beans. Very rich, very delicious, very sweet. Very fantastic. Now onto broccoli salad. I love broccoli salad. This is something that, like, again, I grew up with. <clears throat> Excuse me. Makes me think of my mom. Shout out my mom. If you love your mom, comment down below. And hopefully that's everybody. Hopefully. Bacon, onions, broccoli, smoked tomatoes. Actually, cheese. I do love a sweet cheese. We are officially done. So, 21? 21 minutes, very, very delicious. So I will say, like I said, I didn't have to finish any of these additions, they're all just kind of add-ons. But I will try a bit more, I gotta try some of them. Because, why not? I have in front of me, here are the bread and butter pickles. A big bread and butter pickle person. Sweet, a little zesty. Like I said, they are actually Actually, I don't think I said this. They're not only just doing the pickling here. That should grow the cucumbers here. They grow the jalapenos here. They also, like, in their hot sauces, they have ones like ghost, rap, ghost pepper and scorpion. They grow those here. So pretty much everything they can, they grow here, which is super unique. Pickles are great. Try these onions. Really nice tartness. Definitely what you need like after such a rich meal, a heavy meal. We're gonna cut some of that fat. But that is delicious, delicious, delicious fat. Maybe getting all those items. I did try those earlier, but great again. Yeah, try this uh cowboy -like candy. Which like I said, it's kinda like a sweet pickled jalapeno. It kind of reminds you, like I said, almost like a bread and butter um, jalapeno, which is really cool. Because you definitely get that fiery, that, like it's spicy, pretty spicy. But the sweetness kind of knows that a little bit. I tried to jump to the oil, but it's a really good deal. Um, I didn't try the bacon jam earlier, so I will try the bacon jelly, bacon jam. Oh, wow. Woo! Whoa! That packs a punch. That is flavor. And I know a lot of people get that on like a brisket sandwich or one of those sandwiches, so. Definitely recommend that if you try that on a sandwich. That is crazy. This one, I don't even know, I think this is a red pepper something something. Oh yeah, that's very pleasant. Actually very pleasant. I think these on a sandwich would be absolutely perfect. The pickles, the jalapenos, everything. Great addition, just having with a plate like this. But for that in mind, we do get a meal for free, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely, if you're ever in the Columbus area, some of my hoggies, they got it going on. Uh, whether you're looking for, like, again, smoked meats, just some nice smoked ribs, chicken wings, some sandwiches, plates, whatever, they got you covered. Seriously, very, very delicious. Would recommend stopping by. Um, but that, that's about it. So huge thanks to everybody who came out. Appreciate you gentlemen coming to watch. Got some love here in Columbus. And uh, luckily, we actually got it at a slow time here as well. So just help for a better video. Huge thanks to the staff, family owned, operated business. And uh, at that, that's about it. So that'll run until next time. Of course, you're happy, all the hungry, happy eating. 
Gotta go definitely wash my hands. They are covered in beautiful barbecue juices. Um, come try that fatty brisket. That was like, that was bomb. Whole pork was bomb. And the ribs were bomb. Everything was great. I have no complaints. So that's about it, everybody. So until next time, like, I said bye like five times, but it's not about the day. Thanks, my friend. All right, George trying the brisket. Ooh. Dude, isn't that amazing? Ooh. That's insane, man. Here, try it, man. Get a, get a nice, get a nice, take, yeah, grab grab this piece here with all the fat on it. Okay. Just all take right. the whole piece, man. All right, I just, gotta take it like a chip. Yeah, just all commit right, to go. it. Ooh. What do you say, AJ? Amazing. That's awesome, eh? Yeah, it's 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 good. It's good, good, good stuff, guys. So definitely would recommend Hoggies. So here we are at the Ohio State House. This is the uh, the piece. This is the Civil War monument commemorating the men and women who fought in that period. Definitely an interesting. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Kind of like a Lady Liberty kind of thingy thing. And then here is the state house itself, which is just absolutely giant. So let's go have a little walk around this. There's uh, no shortage of building today. Here is a First World War monument. And then here we have what, I don't know if you call this the green space, the courtyard, but this is like the, I think officially the front of the state house. Great big green space, another kind of monument down there. And then, looking at the big, big, big building. And there's lots of security here and everything. And, uh, yeah. So I don't really know what's going on here today, but they're talking about journalism not being a crime, and looks like there's gonna be some kind of a speech. We got, uh, I guess it'd be like National Guard or National Security or whatever here, so pretty interesting. Who would have known? And here we have a William McKinley Monument. It was the 25th president of the United States. William McKinley. So, pretty cool. And then we have a Christopher, Christopher Columbus Monument. Over here we have uh, which looks like I want to say maybe a Jewish monument. Here we uh, here we have some other monument of people saving lives. Yeah, I think this is maybe supposed to do with the Holocaust, perhaps? I have to read it. Here we have another huge, giant, humongous building. I can't tell you what it is exactly, but it's giant and pretty and on the corner of State and 3rd Street. So yeah, big, huge, crazy looking building. And very close by, we have the Columbus Bicentennial Pavilion. Looks like they could have some really nice events here. Let's talk about the 26, they're having some kind of fireworks. So yeah, really nice green space, flowers, gardens, obviously very well groomed. Looks like they either do sometimes or previously had a merry-go-round over there. So yeah, pretty cool. Here we have a real cool fountain in the uh, commons here. Over here we have the Ohio National Bank. Again, a very big, old-looking building. Definitely some some older buildings down here. Some obviously very very modern. But uh, yeah, they definitely have some nice green space and kind of preserved areas down here for sure. And it also looks like Columbus has a bit of uh, what I'll call a river walk as well. 
pretty neat. Uh, very well, again, kept, very well groomed. Trails that just go on. They go on and on and on and on and on and on all the way down there. Some bridges. And then more of Columbus. Which is a very, at least in my first impressions of what we've seen so here, very well kept, very like nicely preserved city with lots of like cool attractions downtown, public spaces. I mean, even just the architecture and the designs on like some of these posts, um, very old you can tell, but uh, it's really nice. Like here they have a series of like swings these are all swings along here. So, again, my first impressions, which could be very, you know, maybe maybe it's skewed if I change more time here, but um, very good public friendly city. Here we have another big giant building. <laughs> Welcome to the giant building tours of Joel. Um, again, not sure what that is but very impressive nonetheless. Maybe it's like an art museum or something like that. Here we have, I won't say the term giant building, but here we have a very, 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 very large building. This one has some uh, real intricate kind of nature on it. This one I think we're actually going to uh, get to see what it is, but yeah, very intricate uh, artwork around the, the, the roof there, uh, right above the doors. Very cool. Lots of lots of old buildings here down in Columbus. And here we have a commemorative piece of the Underground Railroad. Um, for those who are not familiar, um, as it says right here, it was neither an underground nor a railroad, but a system of loosely connected safe havens where those escaping the brutal conditions of slavery were sheltered, fed, clothed, nursed, concealed, disguised, and instructed during their journey to freedom. Although this movement was one of America's greatest social, moral, and humanitarian endeavors, the details about it were often cloaked in secrecy to protect those involved from the retribution of civil law, the slave catchers, and Ohio history has been permanently shaped by the thousands of runaway slaves passing through or finding permanent residence in the state. Thank you. And here we have big old church, the Trinity, Episcopal Church. Episcopal? I don't know how to pronounce that. Right there. But uh, beautiful. Big red door. I like it. And this is actually the official front of the state house. Here we got all the Ohio flags. What's really cool is they have the flower flags, the American flag, and then the Ohio flag in the flowers. So awesome.